Hi everyone, uh, I wanted to do an update on the aquaponics system. Uh, you can see this is the, uh, the greenhouse where we're building it. Uh, it's a 10 by 12 greenhouse and uh, this is going to be temperature control. Uh, there's going to be an exhaust fan up there and I'm modifying the doors so they don't slide open anymore and they're going to be hinged so they'll open up from the center. That way I can put a a set of intake louvers down here for the air to be drawn out of um, and then we have a uh, kind of a swamp cooler that's going to go uh, over on this end here so uh, that'll be the the extent of uh, some of the things that we're going to put in and obviously they're going to be temperature regulated there's going to be a heater that's also going to be temperature regulated uh, for the uh, winter time and uh, what I've done so far is uh, I decided not to use the two barrels uh, that I cut earlier for the fish tanks. Uh, I'm going to use these guys as a brute, as brute tanks. One, at least one of them is going to be a brute tank. So um, that'll have a small uh, pump circulating in the water and an air pump in it. And we're going to raise the fish there. And then they're going to be transferred to that guy. So that's a 275 gallon tote uh, that used to have uh, olive oil in it. And uh, what I did is I wrapped it in uh, garbage bag plastic for the, the heavy duty garbage bags for yards. Uh, and that way the plastic won't degrade and uh, it will limit also the algae growth uh, on the inside. Uh, the grow beds are these guys here and, and they're pretty much plumbed already. I finished uh, a lot of that yesterday. So I still got to put a cap here and I got to finish the other end over there. That's going to... I'm gonna get that done this afternoon, so there'll be a part five coming up, uh, maybe tomorrow, or maybe this evening. And so, what's gonna end up happening is that um, when the water drains from the siphons into uh, these two tanks here below, uh, the water will flow from these tanks here. Uh, they're connected together, as you can see by that pipe in the bottom there and uh, there's going to be a sump pump uh, in here that's going to continuously flow the water from there uh, up to the main tank here and then there's going to be an off overflow in here that's going to tie into these pipes here and then we're going to regulate the amount of water that goes into each tray by the uh, by the valves that are in each one. Uh, we're going to set it up in such a way that there's about a 12 to 15 minute water rise and then there's going to be a sudden drain. There's always going to be water down here uh, in this tray uh, or in these trays here in the bottom what uh, would be the sumps actually. So there's always going to be water here and the water will always be circulating up in here and then drawn out to here and so on so uh, the way that we're going to do that is by timing um, the uh, the system in such a way that you know we don't run the sump dry um, so that's it that's uh, what we're gonna what we're gonna put together we'll see how it goes uh, if I have to modify part of the system, I think the only thing that I may have to end up modifying if it doesn't work out the way that I want to, what I want to do, uh, what I want to do is run what is called a constant height uh, water system, where that pump that is always running, uh, and it's always running over here, and the you know the amount of water is coming to the trays and being dumped is sufficient to never run that dry. But if need to, I can put a, a float valve. Uh, type water pump in there uh, to only run when uh, when they fill up and then put the regular uh, sump pumping here uh, that's pressurized to just uh, you know push the water over to these guys and have the uh, uh, the overflow kind of circulate water inside the toad because the fish like um, water circulating there's going to be a water stone in there as well I already purchased a couple of them so that's kind of where we are right now. So let me show you a little bit as to how we plumb some of this. So 
I used a one and a quarter inch pipe to join all of the growing trays together except for the last one which will be done this afternoon and then I'm going to cap this one up here because if I ever want to add something on this end here more trays I can tap right off of this guy here go down into the bottom and across the bottom of the seal here and then go over there so uh, there's expansion capability I want to have expansion capability without having to add more piping uh, or more overflows you know coming from the other side which which I always could I guess I could put an overflow over there and coming over here uh, so this is a one and a quarter inch pipe with T's and then uh, reducing down to one inch so these T's are one and a quarter to one and then one inch valves over here now the siphons I already made them and I'll show you kind of what what they're like these siphons uh, are made from let me back off a little bit here these siphons are made out of a four inch PVC pipe and I made all the slits in a uh, uh, in a miter saw that I have out here as you can tell and so that's pretty easy pretty easy work it goes pretty fast and what this does is when you fill it up with a uh, growth media uh, it allows uh, it, it, it prevents the media from clogging up your siphon and the way that works is put that back over here when this is full when this is full of media right you're gonna have gravel up to here so it's easy then to come over here and you know take a look and see what's going on back here clean something up if you need to uh, but that's essentially the belt siphon there the way that it's made it's in such a way that I have uh, this uh, height here is about two and a half inches below the height of the edge here why because I want to put the gravel one inch below the sides here so it'll be about here and then one and a half inch below that would be actually the water level and that allows uh, the water to come up to within an inch and a half of the surface which is too far an inch or below that it keeps algae from growing over the, the surface of the media and then the bell siphon itself uh, fits over the top of of the drain tube and what it does uh, as you can tell there's a uh, cap on it that's watertight and I put a uh, 5 16 uh, inside diameter 7 16 outside, outside diameter uh, tubing in it with a PEX pipe in it uh, that is secured to it and that's so it wouldn't collapse the line when I tighten the uh, um, the wire ties on it the plastic ties so I drilled uh, holes all around the bottom as you can tell right and that's what's going to break uh, the siphon when it starts softening the water around and starts draining and this allows the siphon uh, to break uh, this this here uh, this uh, it's called a snorkel allows the siphon to break very quickly once the water level uh, gets down to this point if it doesn't then you know the, obviously the water in here uh, uh, when it drops below the surface of these holes here it, it breaks the siphon but the siphon starts breaking when it gets to the, to the snorkel to where it should so that's uh, that's how that works uh, and then if we look at the bottom here which may be kind of hard, hard to see but we'll see if we can do it uh, the, the in the bottom here you can see that there's a drains here uh, from that one tray and there's additional there's an additional drain for this other tray here they come down and there's so there's a there's a 90 degree elbow there and he comes over to another 90, 90 degree elbow and that dumps right into this guy here I gotta move it up a little bit because uh, I haven't uh, I just glued these uh, these two tanks together and I haven't moved it where it needs to go so it just needs to be moved back uh, to the other side but everything is gonna fall into these guys here and um, uh, we need those elbows to without glue so you don't glue those elbows by the way because you may need to move them uh, to get the uh, siphon in action to start faster you need to give them a little bit of restriction for that action to actually begin to working uh, very well so that's where we are in the system uh, 
uh, like I said, I still have to now connect the overflows, connect the sump pump, uh, move everything in place so everything is lined up where it should. And hopefully we'll have an aquaponic system in place here in the next couple of weeks. Um, show you something else uh, here in a few minutes, but this is uh, for right now the update that I wanted to give you. So uh, God bless everybody and take care. Bye-bye.